In one of the other demonstrations for this chapter, you saw me run this command where I imported a CSV file that I had created and piped it to new AD user. Part of the trick with that was actually having the right column names in the CSV. You see, it's important that these line up exactly to the parameter names of new AD user. That way, these values go into those parameters and everything works out. So kind of the obvious thing there is how often can you rely on your personnel department to give you a properly formatted CSV? Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's go into this users.csv file. I'm guessing that instead of Sam account name, it's more likely you're going to have something like just name. Uh, instead of giving you the name twice, which is kind of what Power, uh, Active Directory wants to see, you're just going to get it once. Um, and instead of title, maybe it's going to say job title. So I'm going to save that. Now obviously, one way to correct this would just be to go in and edit the CSV every time they give it to you, but that sounds pretty tedious. Let's make a little room so we can see what we're working with. We can have PowerShell do that for us. So long as the personnel department is willing to give you a consistently wrong CSV file, and if they're exporting it from a database or something, it's likely they will, then you can have PowerShell kind of make up the difference. What we'll do is import the CSV and use our good friend select object. We're going to grab the name, department, and city properties from that CSV because those columns are correct. But now we need to create a new one named title, and it needs to contain the job title column. So that way we're taking whatever was in the job title column of users.csv and we're translating it and making a title column instead. And that's what we need to line up to the parameters of new AD user. We're not quite done though because we still need a SAM account name. So we're going to have to make another one of these guys. SAM account name. And the expression on this one is going to be to just grab whatever was in the name column so that the SAM account name and the name are the same. Now I don't need to go any further here. I can hit enter and just sort of double check myself. Let's see, I've got a name, I've got a department, a city, a title, that's what I wanted, and the same account name. So it looks like I could now go in and pipe that to new AD user. And with any luck, that'll create those three users. Let's go in here and do a little refresh action. And there they are, Chris G, Don J, Greg S. And let's just drill into one of these to make sure the address got filled in, as well as the department and title for the organization tab. So you can use this neat little trick of creating custom properties to sort of fix the slightly wrong thing that someone else gave you and line things up so that they'll match the parameters of the next command in the pipeline so that you don't have to write a big script. You can instead accomplish this task with a one-liner.